Where are we taking it to? Let's hit that rookie report card. Going to keep moving with this. Rookie recap. Whatever. Everyone's doing the report card. We're right. just recapping. We're just recapping. The little We're recap. not assigning grades necessarily. No, but we are we are deciding a, We're taking a most attendance valuable though. rookie. We're taking fucking attendance. A little roll call. Yeah. Um and, and, you know, as <laughs> Speaking this, of roll. As this goes on, there's not a big enough sample to really get into it, but we're just keeping tabs on on what's going on and there's there's a big change this week and um so obviously Najee Harris with all the injuries over there just absolutely eating uh with rolling targets will. and catches that was almost embarrassing like it was fourth and ten and the game was still somewhat reachable if, if they needed to get a score and then another score with like four minutes to go and Roethlisberger checks it down to Najee like what he'd been doing the whole game and it was just it was almost like embarrassing these are like fake points like almost like is this but you saw what when he got the ball in his hands like right. Najee's Najee and he's a freak but I don't know if 14 targets Sorry, 19 targets. We caught 14 of them. I don't know that that's ever going to happen again, but they were without the two wide receivers. Juju went down there without Deontay. Claypool even exited at times during that game, and they said they would have probably held him out had they had other help, but they had to put him back in there. He was getting force-fed targets. Uh, Right, so you're you're not – he's getting 14 – 15, 13 uh, attempts a game. So you're not necessarily thrilled with that. That would go up, though. This team sucks. It's not his fault. It's not like they're like not, it's not like they don't want to give him more. They just aren't up. Right. They're not in the game. They're having to throw because they suck. And you would like to see in the red zone, Najee could be a a real threat here. And then, you know, the receiving was on full display here. And and yeah, it wasn't that fun to to watch. And and you you were like, damn, what the hell is going on? But you got to see a big portion of why he was a lot of uh, fantasy experts number one pick coming out of there, uh, out of the rookie drafts this year, and and why you should have drafted him, uh, you know, pretty high in redraft, I guess. Hey, we had a video. You were hoping that maybe you Decent could get a little steal. bit of offensive line play and a little bit more rushing uh, capability here, but. Uh, you know, I don't. I think the, your threshold's probably going to be around 15, 16 attempts, and and really make your make your hay with the. Uh, targets. If you're going to get nineteen targets or anywhere close to it, even if you're half get of that, anywhere near double digit targets, it's going to be a hell of a year for. And nothing. they're not playing anyone else, right? And the wide receivers aren't getting healthier. I mean, maybe now that they're missing weeks, but like. I don't know. He's going to get targeted. It's clear that you can throw it to him, and he crushes. Right. So I don't think that's going anywhere. The floor's there. Maybe we could get some ceiling, but that offensive line doesn't look like it can block very well. If we could get some more red zone attempts for Najee, that would be that would be ideal. So Noogie Burger needs to quit turning it over. I'm not upset about Najee being the number one guy. I'm maybe maybe somebody's upset about it. You could make a case for for another guy, maybe, who isn't a running back here, but we'll get to him. Um, another Pittsburgh steer, Pat Fryermuth, uh, who had a you know, little little nice Week last week comes back this week with another touchdown. Um, it's three a for, tutter. three for five, but plays the lowest amount of snaps. This that was, week. that's awkward to see that. I wouldn't have Ebron played guessed that played some good snaps, but you know didn't I, get a target. I don't. But Fryermuth is still a guy very much so that you should be targeting um, and, and trying to figure out, especially in your tight end premium leagues. Um, I would reckon to say that most of those targets are third down targets too. Yeah, you know, crucial. And anytime they get in the red zone. Fryer moves to stud there. Um, and then, obviously, Chuba Hubbard gets his opportunity due to injury here. And, you know, looks not super great to start it. But as as things unfolded, he was kind of – I felt like he was running up the back of some linemen there. But as things started to unfold, seemed to get a little more patient, seemed to really work things out. Um, but what you're really looking for here um, is, you know, he played 73% of the snaps after um, – CFC was went. injured. Uh, long down and distance, 100% of the snaps. Short down and distance, 66% of the snaps. In two minute, he ran 100% of the snaps. Routes per pass play, 72%. And targets per route, 22%. Those are uh, courtesy of a tweet from uh, Dwayne McFarlane. Strong tweet, Dwayne. Um, and that was, I believe, right after that game. So I don't know if he was doing that himself or or, or somebody else was keeping tabs of that. But th- that's kind of where Chuba fits in. And if, if that's the case, if that's what's going to happen, then this is this is fire him up for as long as Christian McCaffrey's out. If you had Christian McCaffrey, there was absolutely no reason not to handcuff him with Chuba Hubbard. This is a, 
a, a, a really solid handcuff, uh, one of the best handcuffs as a rookie even that you could possibly get. Right. And in your rookie drafts, even if even if you weren't, once that mid second rolled around, like the the value was still there on Chuba, the talent's still there on Chuba, and I yeah, like we I said, love Chuba. You saw him love start to talent. kind of fall into the game flow and look a little better as as the uh, as the quarters rolled on in that Texans game there. So I uh, yeah. really like what I saw. I have no problem firing Chuba up this week. Might even had him in the category of MVR just because I love this guy, the most valuable rookie. Um, because you know he's about to get in there and carry the water here for however many weeks Christian McCaffrey. Well, he miss, did. He picked up the slack where they needed it to, and 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 carried out that game and and took them to you know didn't lead them to the win, but helped them along the way. They didn't need a lot of help. They're playing the Texans, but looking at last year, you saw what Mike Davis did in backup duty. Now, not only was Mike Davis a pretty good player, but that's just a strong position on the team because of the, offense, the scheme, yeah. right? The offensive scheme, the, the offensive coordinator, it's just a good, you know, it's that's good stock to have as a running back position for the Panthers. And so then they let go Mike Davis and bring in Chuba, and you just have to be like, they have to feel so confident in Chuba to, to pick up kind of where Mike Davis left off, where CMC to go down. Right. And they did add Royce Freeman, and he got some run in that game, and I don't hate Royce Freeman okay. by any means. Hey, back from the dead. A little back from the dead back Royce Freeman, dead. as with Anthony Miller from that game. Uh, scored a tutter. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Chuba Hubbard, I mean, you saw it a little bit in the preseason. You saw him looking good, looking fluid, and then he comes in and, and gets his – gets gets his feet wet and and plays pretty well and I'm I'm down to fire him up as well but yeah. can't be MVR not this week can't be MVR this guys has been scratching at the MVR each week each week but real quick let's go to one more player in that All same right. game Tommy Tremble oh uh, right right in that same vein of the Chuba and the Anthony Miller that you twice. dropped there didn't touch it a lot had a rushing touchdown there and then um, hit you again for a thirty yard reception like pretty close to each other those those two plays you're like damn. Tremble's flashing. He looked right. big, looked athletic. Right. You're like, I, I've heard of this guy. I don't so know a ton about him, but here you are seeing him. We were we were really, uh, once you were in the tight end premium drafts and you got to that third round, end of the third, middle of the third, I was I was targeting a lot of Tommy Tremble because I like the attributes. I like where he was coming from. A lot of people were saying that this guy was just underutilized at Notre Dame, and there's a lot of raw potential there. And, you know, the Panthers just went ahead Boom. and – Trade Dan Arnold. Trade Dan Arnold. So no more Darnold to Arnold or whatever. Arnold to Darnold. He was getting a lot of love in the offseason, Dan Arnold. Uh, So he's out to the Jags. They lost J.C. Horn, so they trade for a corner here. Um, Bummer losing J.C. Horn. Huge bummer. Uh, So, yeah, they ship out out Dan. So Tremble should should be on the up. Tommy Tremble, somebody who should be on your radar. Maybe, Maybe a little cheap trade action before anybody figures it out and stash him. Um, but let's it's not get, like Dan Arnold's getting a ton of work, but no, but but I think Tommy Tremble could be a big piece of this offense, um, and 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 his athletic ability is is underrated. The blocking ability is really solid, so he's going to get on the field. And then they they felt good enough to get rid of Dan Arnold. I right. know they have Ian Thomas still, who hasn't Which, just quite emerged. I was a big fan of him, but Jags just dumped their first round pick from last year. I don't for, know what that for uh, Dan Arnold. Dan Arnold in the third. Be a problem going on over there, but. Oh, one more, one more note before we okay. move on to the NBR. What you got? Rashad Bateman returned <laughs> to practice this week. So just uh, be on the lookout. Maybe we get a little Bateman. Maybe that's something the uh, Ravens really need. So uh, looking looking forward to seeing Bateman on the field in the NFL. Bat-bay. But let's take it to the NBR. Who could possibly be the NBR this week? <laughs> Jamar Chase. Got to be Jamar Chase. We, Two we, tutters. He's He's... Had a touchdown in every game and then had two this week. No T, so more opportunity for him to score touchdowns. He's got plenty of T, though. Um, he does have plenty of T, maybe too much. Gosh, it looks just like at LSU, where he runs down the field and Burrow throws it up and he separates at the end and catches the ball for a touchdown. Just like It's like too fucking easy. So, sometimes it, it, it just transfers it's like that. It's too easy. And, 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 you know, when you have your former quarterback who made a case Good for boy. you to come there and they, they didn't take Sewell and – even when they, he probably knew that that was going to hurt him to some effect um, and still lobbied for Chase. Um, I would have taken Sewell if I was the Bengals, but hey, Chase is looking dominant. Chase is looking like a stud. There hasn't been too many people starting their career as good looking as Chase has, even though, like, even with that crazy preseason, 
uh, where, where people were out. And <laughs> oh, it was man. just like, let me get more if you're going to be out because he can't catch some balls. He'll figure it out. Uh, the Chase for C.D. Lamb argument's coming back around. Yeah, I mean, right now. Especially with that dud that C.D. put up last night with just nine points. Yeah, I mean, Chase has been Chase has been the real deal right now and, and, and looks to be uh, very, very solid. And I guess, you know, going back to the Nachi thing, like, I mean, if you had to do it all over again right now, you still take a Nashi number one, or would you would you would you take Jamar Chase as your number one option? Obviously unfair because Trav, we haven't seen any Travis Etienne. Um, but would you? Man, I got it's so hard to get running backs. Yeah, it's so hard to get running backs. Which is if, typically the way we play it. It's rookie drafts, and right. you're trying to get the running backs early. But Jamar Chase looks like the real deal, and Burrow has no problem feeding him. So, but we had Burrow at three right after Chase and ETN. Chase at three. Chase. Well, yeah, we had Chase at three, and 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 we got him at five and some rookie drafts, and that's just not that we were just telling we're, nobody to do. Don't do that. Don't let Chase fall to four or five. Scoop yeah. him up. We got to take the running back. But I mean, I think I was still obviously. I don't think I can't take Travis over Chase at this point. In hindsight, no way. But I could still take Najee. I can still take Najee. That's fair enough. There's I mean, got to be some regress to the mean of these touchdowns. He's on pace for like 90 touchdowns or something. I could be okay swapping those guys around a little bit, but you know, it's just because the next year and a half or two years maybe for a year and a half at this what point for Najee. What happens with the line? What happens with the quarterback? That whole I feel team. like that, that line will continue to get better with Pittsburgh, but what's going to happen with the quarterback position? I feel like you know maybe a, maybe like a Jimmy G could come in there and, and, and be just fine for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, so... Can't I could see it. I could be burger. okay with that, but you know, ninety nine percent of the time, I'm taking that 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 rookie running back. And Najee looks great. It's just circumstance has been, uh, but still scoring scored more fantasy points than uh, Jamar Chase did this week, even with two touchdowns. Did he? It's yeah, because he had fourteen catches. Because he had fourteen catches and one hundred and two yards. That's like it's ridiculous. Yeah, and add you know forty more rushing yards. Anyway. All right. 